Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Tin Barn. Uh, I'm Pragmatic Lee, and this is going to be just a quick little video this morning. Uh, sometime last week, I received an email from one of my viewers asking about one of my limit, uh, one of my drawings for speed control wiring, reversing switch, and how to add limit switches to it. I had commented on that sometime back in a video and said I would have a drawing available for that. Got an email asking for it, and if one of my viewers takes the time to comment or send me a question, I try my best to answer it. And somehow, during the process of moving my emails from uh, an old iPhone to a new one I just got uh, last week, I either deleted that email or I put it in a folder where I can't find it anymore. And it has bugged me for a week now. I don't know who it was that uh, sent that request, but hopefully you'll see this video. And if you do, please put a comment down below letting me know that uh, this has answered your question. But in, my, in the video entitled 12 uh, Volt DC Motor Speed Control and Reversing Switch, I show a... Uh, how to wire up a reversing switch to a DC motor. Uh, I later went back and modified that drawing to incorporate limit switches. Now this one on the left, this is showing a power supply and this was in relation to the video that I made where I used an old computer power supply and uh, tapped into the 12 volt DC off of that and a speed control. This can be any uh, DC power supply that is, has sufficient amps to run your motor that you choose. This is what we're going to be interested in right here, the double pole, double throw toggle switch for reversing. Shows power going from the power supply to the speed control and out of the speed control to the toggle switch. You don't necessarily have to have a speed control uh, in there. If not, just follow the positive wire over here to the positive wire there to where it comes out and just take out the limit switch or the speed control if you don't want that. Now all that is necessary to add a limit switch to both directions. Um, the key to this is that if the limit switch gets opened going in one direction, uh, you still have power to it when you flip the toggle switch uh, to the other direction so that you can go back. Well this is all that is necessary to add those uh, limit switches in between. Is this line that is coming out the negative line, remember DC flows from negative to positive so I always like to put my switches in the negative side, but over here put two limit switches in place and if it breaks the current coming over to this side, you still have power coming to that side. Your switches need to be in the normally closed position. This is what, give you an idea of what I use for limit switches or what I'm calling a limit switch. This is, this is one of the switches that I've been using. They have, these have three posts on them. This post on the outside is labeled common, C-O-M. These two, one of them is NO, normally open, and the other one is normally closed. Uh, like I say, we're going to be using the normally closed. So that means electricity comes in and goes right back out. When the switch is engaged, it breaks the contact between those. This is the front of my mill. have a limit switch on this side of the X travel and a limit switch on that side. And what these are, were meant, originally meant to be, were stops, uh, just guides for that. As you can see, I've got a little micro adjust, see if I can zoom in just a little bit on that. I have just a, uh, just a, uh, a long set screw with a thumb screw, thumb nut on that. But notice what happens, uh, both switches are in the normally closed, meaning electricity 
can go through them. So the motor can go that way and it can go that way. All right, that stopped it, but I still have power to go back in the other direction. And this is the same motor control that I showed wiring in that uh, first video that I referenced here. One direction, the other direction. Again, hopefully this uh, gets to the individual that uh, sent me the message and maybe it'll be help to other folks as well.